Hi friends, I'm Carol, as known as Kodalea, and welcome on my art channel. I'm a freelance illustrator and character designer. I've been working for more than a decade in the animation industry in Europe, and from now on all this video will be in English. Forgive my French accent and bear with me. <laughs> Today I wanted to show you this, and this is actually my sketchbook I used for the last Inktober in 2019. I, and I wanted to show you. So sharpen your pencils, grab your stylus, and let's draw. So this is the art supply that I used for this 2019 Inktober. I decided to do it in this Moleskine sketchbook. So if you want to know what kind of what skin it is. So it's an Art Plus sketchbook. It's um, 165 gram per meters square. I must say that it was quite uh, agreeable to, to use with ink. In fact, I already had it in, uh, in my sketchbook uh, collection, so I decided to use it for this uh, Inktober. Let me maybe uh, introduce you to my art supplies first. For this Inktober, I decided to use this ink, the Windsor and Newton ink, Black Indian ink which is very very opaque and deep black and very beautiful. To be honest, at the, at the end of uh, my Inktober, I ran out of, uh, of this ink and I didn't have a Winsor & Newton ink re refill, so I decided to, to fill this little bottle with this ink, which is Bokuteki Kuretake uh, ink. As you can see, it's all in Japanese, so I can't read it. But um, I tested it first just to be sure that it's uh, waterproof when it's dry, because some of the Sumi ink I tried, I, I will show you with one of my Inktober that uh, you can see it smudged a little bit. I tried this one just to see if I could do some ink wash on top of it and if it uh, just stayed completely dry or if it's much better. I can say that uh, like an alternative to this uh, winter and Newton, but to be honest, I, I was looking for buying some refill from this ink and I couldn't find it in my art supplies shop. I think I will have to maybe to buy it uh, from internet or maybe to go to, uh, to another art shop in another big city. Hopefully uh, they will have it, I don't know. I also decided to use this watercolor ink from Colorex. It's a tobacco tint. So very deep brown. I decided to use it because I wanted to have like a, a black and white and tobacco color. But I also used this, maybe you, you know it already. It's a fine tech color, Coliro color, sorry. All the paints are very, very opaque and uh, deeply shiny and I really, really loved it. And you can see I, I began to, to make some holes in the pen. For inking in itself, I changed some supplies because I first tried with the, with this. It's a Pentel brush pen, and you can see like the first two drawings that I made in this uh, sketchbook. I didn't really liked it. Afterwards, I uh, took some microns to ink and to do the outline of the characters. And for the last of my inktobers, for the seven, the last seven pieces. I used this uh, G pen that I was uh, landed. An old uh, co-worker of mine just uh, gave me his G pen, so I wanted to try and I must say I loved it. So I think I will use it a little bit more in the future because I love the feeling and I loved inking with it. So let's get started. So for this Inktober I decided to do the Greek Goddess Feast theme, which is about all, maybe not all to be honest, but uh, the main female characters in the Greek mythology. I'm a huge fan of Greek mythology since I was a little girl. I really like to do it and it gave me the opportunity to maybe to draw some characters that I never drew before and to discover some new characters. So this is the list. You see some tests of uh, the inks and uh, you can see here the tobacco color. So let's go! The first here is Athena, obviously, and you can see that the lines were made with this one. So it's a little bit thick to my taste and uh, I only used this tobacco color. I didn't use uh, some gold on it, in it. So Athena and her hole. 
Then you have Danae. She's the mother of Perseus and I really wanted to have her in this kind of square shape, rectangular shape. She's the one who has been inseminated <laughs> With, uh, with Zeus when he was transformed into golden rain. So this is uh, what you can see here, the golden rain. And she's uh, with her newborn Perseus. In the legend, she was uh, thrown into a box into the sea with uh, her newborn. So this, this is why I wanted to draw her in a rectangular shape. The third one is the three Mo Moirai. I don't know how you say it. Moirai? Moirai? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, it's the three fates in French, les trois mois. So this is the three characters that are shaping the fate of man. I don't remember the name. I know that the, the old one is Asclepius, but I... maybe Clito? And I don't remember the, the third one. And uh, so they are creating the thread of uh, every human life. And uh, Asclepius is the one who is uh, cutting it. And so she's uh, symbolizing the death. And you can see this is the first time that I use the color color. I think I used the, the Inca, the, the second one, which is a little bit more orange. Then it's Circe. Circe, Circe, <laughs> which is one of the biggest Sioux witch of the Greek mythology. I used a lot of inspiration from Pinterest for this uh, this Inktober, so there are some pieces that I found and I mixed it, I mixed them up to to have my own Inktobers. So Circe with uh, her like a uh, cup that she's filling out or she's pouring out. I don't know, but I really like her head headset, <laughs> uh, head jewels. Next, it's Gaia, uh, the fifth one and the only one in this format. All the other ones are in portrait and uh, this is the only one in horizontal. To be honest, I struggled a lot for this one because I didn't know what, how to represent her. I checked on Pinterest how many other artists uh, drew her and she was mostly like a pregnant woman with, uh, with the shape of uh, the earth instead of her belly and I didn't really want to do it. So, well, as Gaia is the goddess of Earth, I really wanted to have her like a part of, of the scenery. Like um, she's, uh, she's part of, she's like a mountain and her hair or like uh, the forest and such. Then this is Ellen of Troy. Actually, it's one of my favorites. I saw this pose on one Pinterest photo. I really liked this uh, this kind of atmosphere and this flow of her gown. Um, I must say I was inspired by Danny Cassil's work because she I really liked the flow of her clothes and the flow of, of the hair. You can see her YouTube channel, which is very, very good. And she has been a, a huge part of my inspiration lately. And this is, I think, the first time that I used like a black square. I use it more and more often after that and uh, with this kind of black and, uh, and gold it's uh, really work well and you can see that well with the tobacco color and the gold it's it can be messy. You, you can see there is the difference between the two except when I do that. When I do that you can see the difference. This is why after that I think I try to use less and less the tobacco color but uh, or maybe on fewer touch. I really like this one. She's like uh, on the top of the hill with the, with the wind in her hair and uh, the wind in her gun and I really liked it. Next is one of my favorite too, it's Medusa. You can see it's a difference. Uh, I think it's the only one that I made with this color and I did it on the purpose because this is not only an Inktober piece, this is also a draw this in your style piece. This is the Medusa that another uh, Instagram and French artist did. Her name is uh, Alice Picard. And I really, really loved her pick on Medusa and I really wanted to draw her with a whole bunch of different snakes. And uh, she actually used like a kind of uh, a sienna color. I decided to use it as well. So yeah, this is burnt sienna color, a brush pen, an Ecoline brush pen. And this is uh, the only one I used on because I thought that it would be very different with the tobacco color or even with the golden color. But I really liked how it turned out and to be honest, after that I bought some copper and uh, bronze color just to maybe to to try it for other pieces or maybe some other Inktobers. But this is one of my favorite too. Next is Iris. Maybe it's one I was the less inspired with, <laughs> to be honest. Maybe you can see it. There's no black background and such. I decided to use also some other color colors, watercolor pens. 
This is the same uh, brand, uh, this one, but uh, with uh, with blues and red, I think. No, not on this one, but um, so Iris is kind of a, a messenger goddess somehow. She's related to Ira. This is why she has like this big peacock stuff. Not on my favorite, but at least she's there. Then nine, it's Demeter. I don't know how you say it, Demeter, 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 <laughs> I don't know. And uh, for this one, I don't know why I didn't put like a black on, on all the, the sheet, but uh, this is one maybe with the most color in it. And um, I really wanted like to have like this kind of all the colors uh, symbolizing all the seasons because like she's a goddess of harvest. This is why she had the wheat in her hand <laughs> and this abundance horn in her other home. Um, and I wanted her to have like this kind of um, mother feeling. She's one maybe of the, the oldest of the goddess. She's the mother of Persephone, which I'll show you after that. Next 10, it's Amphitrit. Yes, she's Poseidon's wife. This is why she has like all this sea stuff and uh, shells and stuff in, in the trident and I wanted her to have like some some curves on her Next 11 is Pandora Tiberianus is one that I was really really impatient to draw because I really like her legend and I really had a precise idea uh, of what I wanted to do and I struggled a lot about what shape I would give to the Pandora's box because I saw like tons of uh, different shapes like uh, a big box a small box uh, a square box a rectangular box and i really like this kind of rounded box i thought that it were it didn't need to be big so this is why i made this kind of size of course the, like the all the scenes that are escaping the box and like she's absolutely frightened by what she's witnessing and what she has done i kind of like it and i think it's an emphasis with the, the black background. After that, it's sirens. I really wanted to do a siren with her bird form and not the mermaid like uh, we used to, to see with the fish tail and such, um, because uh, sirens in the Greek mythology is more than a bird creature than a, a, sea, a sea fish creature. And I really wanted to draw her like, as you can see with a uh, with golden touch on her, on her feathers. And with this kind of um, of Greek uh, profile, and also with the lyre, I don't know how you say that. You know the, the instrument. Well, they were known for um, their music that was attracting the sailormen just to to drown them. So maybe they could be mistaken with the harpies, but um, I think they are dreadful, like the harpies, but uh, but in a different way somehow. <laughs> But I really liked how it turned out. Next, uh, 13 is Hera, so the queen, I would say the queen mother or the queen of uh, goddesses. She's the queen of marriage. I, I think I, <laughs> I bear with her because like she's, uh, she's the wife of Zeus. Everybody knows that uh, Zeus is not uh, the best husband for her or for anyone, to be honest. But I really wanted to have like this kind of uh, shot from the back with this uh, peacock feather in her back. Like she's uh, seducive, but uh, she also regal. And after that you have Andromeda, so the 14th. Andromeda, I decided to make her dark skin because she's from like uh, uh, the other parts of, of the sea. She's uh, described as the black uh, skin lady, so this is why I did her like that and with, uh, with curly hair as well. To be honest, afterwards I was kind of um, maybe disturbed that she's the only one with dark skin and she's the only one also with uh, with chains so I don't know how to feel about it to be honest um, but uh, I wanted to maybe to have her the best uh, representation of her character next I put this here because as you can see it's not <laughs> 
we, we pass from 14 to 16. This is because the 15 is Persephone and Persephone, I will show you here. Persephone, I drew this not in this one skin um, schedule because actually this is uh, one of the, this Inktober piece that was ordered by one of my friends. So I decided to do it on another paper so I could send it to her. So Persephone, as you can see, she's a goddess of spring somehow and she's also a uh, Hades wife. Uh, I really like this character. Just to, to let you know, I was reading Lore Olympus uh, webcomic during my Inktober, during October, and uh, I was really in love with this character and how, you know, I don't know if you know this webcomic, but uh, you really, really should read it because it's awesome. So uh, this is Persephone and let's go back to 16. It's Ariadne. She's the one who helps, uh, I think it's Theseus, it's so hard to say in English, Theseus, the hero that is dealing with the Minotaur, um, and she's the one who is giving her this thread ball just to find his way in the labyrinth. So this is why I did all the thread uh, in the back. And yeah. Next, 17, it's Nyx, the goddess of the night. I had a very precise image of her in my head. I really wanted to have her like draped in, in the night, draped in the dark sky. And this is what I drew her. Like she's cozy in her, how do you say that, uh, clothes? I guess, uh, with the, all these kind of stars and starry nights and uh, with the moon, of course, uh, behind her. And uh, I really liked how, how it uh, how it well, the folds and everything uh, turned out. I really liked uh, this one. Next, 18 is one of my favorites. It's Artemis. I really wanted to have her like a pagan goddess, uh, this kind of tattoos that she has on her body, just like the, the Picts like the old Scottish Scotsman, you know, with the blue, the blue paint, uh, the blue paint on their faces and their bodies. I really wanted to have her like this kind of of touch of dangerousness and and maybe primitiveness of her. She's the goddess of hunt. Of course, she has this bow and arrow, and uh, it feels like she's kind of uh, like deep connected with the nature or something like that. And uh, I really, really liked how she turned out. She's one of my favorite of the batch. Then 19 inch uh, Psyche. Also for this one, I really had a clear vision of what I wanted to do. Like uh, this kind of candlelit scenery. And it's a cut like that because I thought that it was like, you know, the I don't know if you know the, the myth, but this is Psyche that is about to discover that her husband, because she doesn't know what her husband look like, looks like, and uh, here she's, she's on the point of discovering what he looks like. And uh, her husband is uh, Eros, uh, the, you know, the little angel, like the, the god of love. And there's the wax of uh, the candle that is falling on him and will hurt him. And uh, this is like the, the moment before everything is uh, turned apart. So yeah, this is like uh, the kind of candle lit scenery and scene with this kind of, uh, you know, white uh, areas and the curtain. Next, 20 is Media, Midi in French. And also for her, I had a clear vision of what I wanted to do. She's really a tragic character. She has, I think she was uh, married to J Jason. She married Jason and she was mentally ill actually. And she ends up, uh, I think she ends up uh, killing her children just because she thinks that she, she will keep uh, Jason that way and uh, this is what I wanted to depict her like with the bloody um, gown and bloody dress and bloody hands and of course uh, the bloody dagger. Well she's a tragic character as I said. 21 is uh, Hebe. Hebe, Hebe. I, I don't know how you pronounce it, but uh, she's the goddess of youth. She's the daughter of Zeus and Hera. I wanted to have her like a very innocent uh, look and an innocent smile. She's like uh, the goddess of youth and, and uh, young lovers and teenagers somehow. So I wanted to have that vibe in her. Next, 22, it's Leda. <laughs> 
the poor Leda, one of those uh, sadly victims. Of course, she's known for having sex with a swan for her, where she has been seduced by Zeus uh, and he took the, the appearance of a swan to seduce her. And this is what I wanted to show here. It's not safe for work. <laughs> 23, it's Aphrodite. To be honest, for this one, I didn't know what kind of Aphrodite I wanted to do. First, I wanted to do like, uh, not a fat Aphrodite, but like I wanted to have her a full shape because uh, there's no point that the goddess of love would be like a 1960-19 kind of uh, model. But uh, I think I just made her like this because I wanted to focus like on her bottom. <laughs> Just to be honest. And uh, also to be honest, I kind of liked how it turned out. Like the model of her butt. <laughs> Maybe this will be uh, censored by YouTube, I don't know. But um, imagine her like a sculpture. Next, uh, 24, it's uh, Hestia, the goddess of home, like the, the sacred fire of home. I wanted her to have like a mummy look, this is why she's like this, and I think that she's looking at you with like a concerned look, like you did some mischiefs <laughs> and she's judging you. <laughs> Just for the record, uh, this is where I finished uh, the Inktober in last October 2019. I didn't have the time to finish everything because I had like a, a big schedule. Actually, the last seven of this Inktober, I did this in March 2020. So this is like a huge gap between this one and the next one scene. And this is where I started to use the G-Pen. Maybe you can see the difference because here you can have like some differences in the lines. Whereas here, well, you can have some dif differences in the line, but uh, it's done with this one. So you have to draw like sometimes to, to give like some thickness and, and uh, thinness and which is much more easier to have with this one. So Celine led the goddess of the moon. Uh, she's ob obviously sitting on the moon crescent. I really enjoyed doing the last seven of them. I was really impatient to finish this Inktober. I didn't really want to keep it unfinished. Next, the 26th, this is, uh, these are the three graces. And for this one, I use a photo reference I found on Instagram. I think I will put the link in the description below. And this is a marvelous photograph uh, with the three girls that are uh, just standing there. And with the, the tallest girl that is uh, sitting on like a, um, a parapet or I don't know how you say that. Never mind. Uh, and she's looking at a spectator with a deep expression on her face and the other one are just standing her uh, like three sisters and I really like the, the softness and the powerful look on her eyes. On her eyes. It's a one piece that I really liked. Next, 27, it's a pacify, pacify, I don't know how you pronounce it. This is where I was low on ink. And I tried another one, which is not here. I tried another ink that I was given by a friend and uh, this is why the lines are all smudged. This was not a good ink for inking first and then doing ink wash afterwards. As you can see, it just smudged uh, the, the lines and uh, even if it was already dry, it wasn't waterproof after dry. And this is one also that I didn't use a golden paint on this one. So Pasiphae is uh, the mother of the Minotaur and uh, she's known to be the wife of Minos, the king of Crete and uh, she has fallen in love with the bull, <laughs> obviously. Next, 28, is Eris. Eris, the goddess of discord. Um, I also really like this one. I like the feathers and the wings and the look on her face and the, the jewelries and everything. I'm really proud of this one. It's, it's one that uh, is uh, working the best on Instagram too, <laughs> which is cool. Eris is, as I said, the goddess of discord and she's the one who gave like the apple of discord to Paris to give it to the fairest goddess between, I think it was Aphrodite, Athena and Hera. Because of her that uh, the war of Troy has begun because of this silly apple and because of course of the arrogance of, of the gods. <laughs> and I really liked, like the, the full golden uh, background behind. It gives a nice touch, nice touch to the drawing. Next we are the end 29 Melino, Melinoe. 
I think in French we would say Mélinoé. She has a tragic history. She's a fruit of incest between Persephone and Zeus, as maybe you don't know, but uh, Persephone is the daughter of Zeus and Demeter, and he just uh, found his way to uh, to Persephone pants <laughs> somehow. From the legend, I think I read that uh, he took the appearance of Hades, so Persephone's husband, just to get uh, in her pants. Um, and and so this is Melino, the daughter of this incest, and well, this is a sad story. It was one of the goddesses that I didn't know about, and she's the goddess of ghosts, and she is like a one half in the dead world and one half in the living world and her body is cut in half one part is white and the other part is black and I think it's it gives like a nice touch to the to the character Next 30 is Nemesis. Um, this is also one I only knew by name. I didn't know which kind of goddess she was and I was quite surprised that she was like the one that she's dis depicted just like the the depiction of justice. She's often described with a, a sword because she's the goddess of retrib retribution and also she's the one who punish the mortal for the hubris, so for their arrogance against the gods. And uh, so she's kind of like a justice kind of bringer somehow. So this is why I gave her like this kind of cloth on her face that she she don't see, she, she can't judge. And she's kind of uh, this kind of uh, allegory. And next one, 31, is Ekati, or Ekat, I don't know how you say that. Um, so Ekat is the goddess of witchcraft. I don't know if she's a goddess, to be honest, or just a character in the myth, but she's known for like the witchcraft and sorcery and, st and such. So this is why I gave her this kind of look and this kind of... And with the snake, because I like snake, <laughs> after drawing Medusa with all the snakes yeah i thought i could do like uh, just one <laughs> just one snake and maybe she was inspired by uh Salmayek in that movie i don't remember the name uh with um, in the one she's dancing with the snake on her shoulders but uh yeah this is uh, the last one all right i hope you enjoyed this kind of uh, sketchbook tour i really liked uh, doing it it's kind of weird for me to speak in english to be honest but i think i kind of liked it and i hope i will do it in the future and if if you're interested, this is not the first Inktober I've made and succeeded. Uh, actually, it's my fourth, I think. It's the fourth Inktober that I succeeded. Um, so maybe I can show you one other time the other one I did. I did one on the fairy tales and I did one on pirates. So tell me in the comments if you want to see them. Maybe I can do it uh, sooner, I guess. I have like a ton of sketchbook to show you. Uh, so. I hope you'll be there for the next time. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye bye!